quite playful because you don't really understand what it is. And then once you do understand or find something, you're so excited to tell someone else what you can see. And that's, that's what I wanted. Like maybe if the kids have a greater imagination then they'll, they might see something that the adults don't see and they'll take, take ownership of it and they get excited. So that it's like storytelling from the kid, the kid's perspective telling the story to the adult. I wanted to create an artwork that was reflective of people that work here, the staff and the, and the children. So I'm always open for, for input. And it just adds to, to the beauty of the, of the story, the more people, the more voices that are involved in it. When I, when I draw, these, draw these animals, I try to create them in as, as minimal lines as possible, using less, less is more in that sense. And then once I got all those lines, it's like a jigsaw puzzle, then I put it all in. There are certain themes that continue throughout the artwork. The majority of it is animals that you see in Kings Park. But then if you look in some instances, it goes further to the broader Perth and maybe even broader, broader state. There's a, a couple of kangaroos in there. Uh, there's a, a kangaroo with a, with a joey in its pouch. Few birds as you get towards the higher parts of the bridge. I always think of myself as just like a as the tool or the conduit for for these sort of things. Um, I enjoy doing it, but it's it's I'm trying to trying to reflect the community in this this art piece.